<laughs> Big Brother OG, Working Man TV. Ain't nothing changed. According to black women, according to black women, there are no good black men left in the black community. I remember times when I heard things like all the good men are locked up. I used to hear things like that. All the good men are locked up or like they're saying now, you know. Ain't no good black men left <laughs> in the black community. And the reason why you hear things as such is simply due to ignorance and a lack of knowledge. Just like it's written, my people suffer from the lack of knowledge, from a lack of knowledge. And the truth always reveals itself. This is the reason why you see what I call the ignorancy all over YouTube. But we'll get into it. <clears throat> and like I say, oh, they say all good men are in prison. Now, no one understands that these so-called black women only say that because they made poor choices choosing no good men. Oh yeah, for those of you who don't understand, working man, I represent the rich. And what the rich represent, it represents the masculinity and the strength of the black man. Working man. Once again, these black women only say that because they made poor choices choosing no good men. I've seen it, been there, done it. Choosing men in and out of prison. <laughs> this shit been going on for years, man. Choosing men who were domestic. Indeed, there are signs through nature, you did. If you were the argumentative, combative female, you would see, you, you <laughs> excuse me, you would see the signs. See, a lot of times we choose to ignore the signs. If you're a woman and you with a man who have a domestic violence behavior, you will see the signs before it happened. A lot of times you choose to ignore it. But now it's all black men. Let's keep riding this train, people. Now, these older BWs, on YouTube bashing all black men simply because the men that they chose were no good. All black men are no good, but all white men are perfect. <laughs> now, these same females who are of no value at this point continuously telling young women that 
all black men ain't no good simply because the men that they chose wasn't no good. One man doesn't represent for all men. If these are your mommies, your mamas and your aunties, who wasn't sugar, honey, iced tea. Yeah, I said it. And the men that they chose was a sugar, honey, iced tea. Now we are all trash. Okay. Well, according to statistics, According to statistics, 51% of black men are single and childless. According to statistics, 64% of us are in middle class. Let's revert back to what I said five minutes ago when I spoke about my people suffer from a lack of knowledge. See, when I told you about the PTSD, the post-traumatic slave syndrome, and how we trickled down from generation to generation to generation, see, now you got these modern b dubs or these so-called divestors who only believe what the European tell them and only believe what the European write down. When these same people who write in these statistics have a lying tongue by nature. And a lot of times these same, the reason why a lot of these women are saying what they're saying is because they don't have true knowledge and true education and true and understanding. Now, let's go to blackdemographics.com, if you will. where you got black folks giving statistics about blacks. True statistics. And according to the blackdemographics.com, 51% of black men are single and childless. And 64% are in middle class. But your modern B does say it ain't no good men out there. All good men are in prison. Can you see the miseducation in that state. Can you hear it? They don't even know the true statistics of their own men. Because you got good brothers out here and we are winning. The question is, why can't you certain angry groups of black women get these brothers? Why can't you get them? You know they out here but you can't get them. See, y'all modern VWs are angry behind your own choices. Yeah, you got black men out here with the general behavior that do, that need a tail spank. But just as well, you got black women too. See, y'all can stop the cap pointing fingers one way. Oh, it's just the black men. Anybody with any common sense know better. But the question is, why can't you black women get these type of brothers? I'll tell you why. Because good brothers don't want you masculine, all them argumentative, combative females. Average at best with children. Made poor decisions in your past, living a hot girl summer, letting poogies and ray rays shoot up the club. You're getting pregnant, got three, four baby daddies. Now that you starting to fit that certain demographic, y'all same females on here, 30, 35, 40 years old, the Cynthia G's and divestors. 
talking all this ish. Y'all ain't innocent. <laughs> this is another reason. You got these YouTube, these argumentative, filthy mouth females talking about, oh, we done listening. While trying to damage the while trying to damage the image of my brothers. <laughs> we ain't having it. We ain't have it. We ain't having it. For example, you got one divestor on YouTube who talked like a child with no guidance. For example, you got one divestor out there on YouTube who talks like a child with no guidance. A nasty mouth. I mean, she got a nasty, filthy mouth to be a female. A nasty mouth. Like I say, for her to be a female, she talk like a nasty mouth nigga. It's a difference between a nigga and a black man. What's the difference between a nigga and a black man? Only a nigga answer that question. She talk like a nasty mouth nigga with no guidance. Real talk. Not only that, when you listen to her talk, she speaks very masculine. She speaks very masculine. Always on YouTube talking about, oh, we don't want you niggas and we're not attracted to you. No, we're not attracted to you. She talks masculine and there is nothing feminine about her. Listen, Y'all ladies, let me tell y'all something. Men love femininity. That's what get a man. That's what turns a man on. That's what makes a man melt. See, y'all women today have lost your way. You masculine. You act like you have a penis. There's nothing feminine about you. That's why, I'm, listen, you have no choice but to divest. But you just want to taint our image and try to say, oh, black men ain't no good. No, that ain't the case. That's a lie. And that's why I'm here and I'm going to continue to defend that because I know better. Men love femininity. Let me tell you, ladies, something. You can make a man melt with real feminism. If you feminine and you you... You, you touch him with that femininity and talk to him with that femininity and, and you just, <coughs> excuse me, and you just feminine, what we love that because we're men. Masculinity still stands. Masculine men love femininity. But masculine men don't want to have nothing to do with argumentative, combative, masculine women. And that's you women on YouTube. Now let's revert back to what I was saying about this divestment. She talks masculine. She talks very masculine. There's nothing feminine about her. She has a foul mouth and foul language. She don't even talk like a woman. Not only that, she got a deep voice. Y'all know who I'm talking about. She got a deep voice at the same time. Talk very foul, very nasty, very disrespectful, very argumentative, and angry, and combative. This is the way she talks. Not only that, she has a masculine voice. She has a deep voice. 
And y'all wonder why we don't want to have nothing to do with y'all. Y'all want to get on YouTube and talk ish about black men and try to put us down. Hell no, I love my brothers and I'm going to uplift my brother. That's why I'm here. But this same divester did got the nerve to try to show off on YouTube. <laughs> Let me explain something to y'all, man. People who's really doing good, they don't exploit it. They don't have to try to get on YouTube and show the whole world how they live it. You ever heard a person who always try to say, oh, oh, I got this type of status and I got that type of status. If you really had that type of status, you wouldn't talk about it. If your world was really what you portraying it to be, trust me, you wouldn't be on YouTube trying to show off and, 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 and exploit that to the world. You can't convince nobody, we're not fools. But this is what they do. This one particular divester, this is what she do. Listen, it ain't nothing to go out to a fucking bar. There is, it don't make it, it's nothing to go out to a restaurant. It's nothing to go out to a bar and put that on the fucking you you two. Oh, we at the bar. Oh, it's it's nothing to go to a restaurant. Oh, oh, we at the restaurant. You know, it's nothing to go to a concert trying to, you know, oh, we at the so what? That's nothing. What do you own? I own shit out of here. I own property. You get on YouTube and try to spot your brand as if you have an average bottom shelf brand. I won't even disrespect the man because your brand don't even run his mouth. It's you. But you have an average brand. The average brand. He ain't got nothing that I, I probably got more than him. I own shit. I don't pay rent. I don't pay mortgage. I pay property tax. On everything I own. Vehicles, house, the whole nine yards. I'm not bragging. And I'm establishing my own business out this joint. You dealing with average. But y'all get on YouTube and try to perpetrate in front as if you with a high earning brand. You with an average brand and he's not that attractive. At all, he looked out of shape. There's nothing athletic or masculine about him at all. Man, listen, these divestors out here with average bottom shelf brands. Now her brand may be a good guy who love and take care of him. More power to you. He really may be, I don't know. But don't get on YouTube perpetrating the front like y'all living the high life because you ain't doing nothing that the average person out here can't do. Trying to get on YouTube and show off as if, oh, I divested and I'm living the high life or this and that and blah, 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 blah. Y'all probably don't own nothing. In a way, all you divestors, I see. I see one and only one divestor making video, making video, you know what I'm saying, showing off her fake divested life as if it's perfect. When every adult out here know everybody got problems in one way or another. And there is no such thing as a perfect relationship. That Brad probably whooping your ass behind closed doors. Everybody have issues. There's no such thing 
That's a perfect relationship. So listen, quit getting on YouTube and playing yourself as if you live in a fucking cartoon fantasy life. Because we know better. Once again, fellas, these so-called females that's getting on YouTube talking about they divested. Man, let me tell you something. The the dudes that they divest into, man, they even they 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 average or below average. You know what I mean? These females, they get on YouTube and oh, I, you know, I'm with my bread and this and that, blah 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 blah. Your bread ain't got nothing that I don't have. I probably have more. I guarantee you I got more. If he own his house, I own mine. Like I told you in another video, if he got a pickup truck in a Mercedes Benz, I got the same thing. If he got credit, I got credit. He got bank account, I got bank account. What? But y'all say brothers out here ain't winning and ain't no good men left out here? No, the problem is, it's good men out here that don't want to have nothing to do with you modern BWs who done made poor ass decisions. Now you want to reach back and get a good brother. Nah, we ain't having it. Peace out. Working Man TV. Big Brother OG. Back at it again. Hitting him in the head with the big wrench. Boom! Can't be silenced or stopped.